So this video will be about taking apart the IV arms and how to clean them and put them away. So you'll need a canister to catch the blood that's draining out of the arms and a adapter tube to properly drain it. So the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that the clamps are clamped. You do not want this pouring all over the floor because it will stain everything. So after that, you're going to take the top tube that's coming out of the blood bag and you're going to disconnect that one. And you'll take the tube that's coming out of the arm and place it to the adapter release tube. And then take the other end of that tube and place it in the canister that you have on the floor. You want the canister to be on the floor because you want gravity to help drain the blood out of the arm. Otherwise, it'll take a lot longer for it to drain out. And then once you have that connected, release both clamps and you should see the blood start flowing just like it is right here. And it shouldn't take too long. Like it just should take a couple seconds. And sometimes if it gets stuck like that, just pick up the tube and just let it drip, um, drip out slowly. So once you're finished with that, you can disconnect the adapter tube. It's okay if accidents happen. Yes, Sydney just spilled blood everywhere. It's fine. So after you disconnect it from the adapter tube, you can disconnect it from the bag, and you're going to take the blood bag over to the sink and just lay it in there. And then you're going to take a normal, I think it's a 30 ml syringe, it may be 60, I'm not sure. Just take a big syringe that's empty and you're going to fill up a container with just regular water from the sink and then add alcohol to it. So we really don't want mold to grow in these tubes. And so it's important to just, like, just dump a bunch of alcohol in it and if you can't smell it, you didn't add enough. And the only reason hers is red is because there's leftover drops of dried blood in that canister. It really doesn't matter. You're just flushing it out. It's going to come out. And just fill up the tube and then place it in the end of the bag. The, this, this is the tubing that's coming out of the top of the bag. So just place it in that and then push through any of that blood. And then after you push through that alcohol water, you'll just pull back the plunger and then push through some air because you want to try to dry it out as much as possible. And then after that, you'll take it back to your stand and hang it back up because we're going to drain all that alcohol water into our, dis into our waste container. We're going to run it back through the arms. We're trying to get as much blood out as we can. So connect that back to the arm, connect the other tubing to the adapter and place the adapter into the canister on the floor. Sydney just went to the sink to dump out the blood because she knew it was going to be a lot more and you don't want it to overflow. That's all she's doing. She's rinsing it out. This video gives somebody a seizure, I apologize. So now she has that container full of alcohol water. She's just gonna pour it into the blood bag because we're gonna try to run a lot of water through these arms. So she's just adding more to it. And the tubes are all clamped right now because she doesn't want it flowing just yet. So 
so now you'll place the adapter tube into the canister. And you'll unclamp all the clamps. And then you'll just let it drain. And sometimes flipping the arm over like that helps it drain faster. And then you're just going to let this sit and drain all that water out. It takes a couple minutes, and so you can leave it and do other things. Or start working on another arm while you're waiting for this one. There are multiple adapter tubes in the cabinets right underneath us. So after it's drained, we'll come back to it. See the canister on the floor is almost full. And all the tubes should look clear of blood as much as possible. So first thing we're going to do is dump all that water out to the sink. And this stuff will stain your clothes, so try to be careful. I don't know why Sydney's wearing a white sweater. So now going back to the arm, you can unclamp everything because there should be no liquid left in it. We're going to take off the bag, and she's rinsing it one last time with just regular water. Just to, anything that might be in there, she's just getting it out, and just dump it out the top of the bag just like that. Disconnect the adapter and set it to the side because you will reuse the adapter for the next arm. And make sure you clamp back the tubes on the arm. And that's how you drain them. And so now, just for breaking it down, all you have to do is you'll put all these pieces away in the cabinets that we're standing in front of. You'll just you'll, you'll stack up the bags, you'll stack up the arms, and then the little white rests right there, you'll stack those up. And then this little, the pole that's connected to that white base actually comes out. Go ahead and take that out and lay it flat. And all that just goes in the cabinets just like that. And then move on to the next arm. 